Hey, this is Father Orange and Black with a special playoff update. Check out the HBO documentary on the Flyers. It is amazing. The Broad Street Bullies. Yes, the genesis of the Broad Street Bullies. From the brutal clubbing of Claude LaForge by the Picard brothers. Hey, we didn't start being the bullies. We had a nice bunch of French-Canadian guys doing their own version of the French Connection. While the St. Louis Blues, the Plager brothers, were pounding our heads into the boards. That's why we had to go out and get some boys from out west who knew how to hold a stick. And as Bobby Clark says, hey, if you didn't learn how to give a two-hander every once in a while, I never would have gotten out of Flin Flon. You know what was really nice about it? To see Mr. Watson tell you a story, true story. I'm kneeling down piously after communion one Sunday, and my next-door neighbor, who is about as rabid a Flyers fan as I am, Mrs. Florence Adcock, she comes over and, and, and shakes me and says, Look, look, there's Mr. Watson from Smithers. He's here to watch the playoffs. He's here to see his sons, Jimmy and Joe. Jimmy and Joe, their father, went to communion at St. Charles Parish in Drexel Hill. Real people, and you know, in the in the uh, documentary, they mentioned that Ed Snyder invited the fathers of the Flyers for the second Cup run in 1975. How about the Russian game? Drama, drama. Hey, I didn't go to the Russian game, but I was playing hockey that day. And when we came back from the game, the Russians were leaving the ice. They come back, and Reggie the Rifle puts them ahead. Imagine that, Clarence Campbell having to ask Philadelphia Broad Street Bullies to defend the honor of North American hockey. Hey, I was there May 19th, 1974, squeezing between my dad and my uncle to see Bernie shut him down. And Phil Esposito said it. It's great to hear Phil admit it. Hey, sure, they could beat everybody up and do all that stuff, but they had skill to back it up. Thanks, Phil. If I ever see you, I'll thank you for that quip. Anyway, it's worth a look-see to see Bernie Perrant, Doug Favell, Bobby Clark, Simone Nolet, and Roscoe Lonsberry, Hound Kelly, all those guys in their glory when they won us a couple of Stanley Cups. Yes, it's been 35 years, but like they were saying on WGR last week, if they had just won once, talking about the Sabres, it would make it worthwhile. Well, that's how I feel. Yes, it's over 35 years since they won those cups, but guess what? They still live in our memories, and they're down 3-0, but it ain't over till it's over. Let's go fly.